I am dazzled. I source my creativity and my well-being in flowers. They're like second stars. Let me introduce myself. My name is Andrea Fono. Welcome to our artist rendezvous in my mother's garden. The late great poet Susan Sontag said, art is a form of consciousness. Art is a form of nourishment. Nature also nourishes me as I'm sure it does for you. I mean, look at these. I feel blessed today by being present to these cascading Higgin cherry blossoms. They are delicate yet mighty messengers because like all flowers, they remind us of how our time together is precious. I would love to tell you more about my art practice and my monotype painting. I belong to the world of creation. I use plexiglass and I apply the paint with a brayer and I use a palette knife and a brush, of course. Don't forget the blossoms. And I run it all through the press and get a little monoprint. A decade ago or so, while I was engaged in receiving my master's degree in theology and contemplative creativity, I took a class in quantum physics and cosmology. After all, the universe has always been a platform for life's big questions. Who are we? Where did we come from? What opened up for me while listening to the lectures by the great cosmologist Brian Swim talk about the Big Bang Theory is something I never knew. We are made of the same particles that were around 13.8 billion years ago. I am made of stardust. Did you know that? I find this unequivocally magnificent that no matter what I am thinking about me or anyone else, we belong to the universe. Art is nourishment. It's an act of love. It's also an act of defiance to everything that is sorrowful and confusing in our world. For years, I was thinking, how can I paint the stars? And nothing I came up with sounded quite right. And at one point I thought I could order a photograph from NASA of a nebula and I could maybe put sparkles on it or write on it. And then I thought, why ruin a perfectly good photograph of a nebula? And then one day I was walking into a store that had a cherry blossom tree that was snowing its pink blossoms. And I saw this abstracted pattern on the ground that looked like it could be a constellation. And I went, oh, the flowers are like little stars. And this was the beginning to my painting, my connection to my universe. I don't know if the cherry blossoms asked me to paint with them, or did I invite the blossoms to paint with me? But what I do know is we are co-creating the story of evolution. Now it is your turn. How does the eternal occur to you? How could you explore that for yourself? So thank you for coming today.